Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm here on the Three Ring Ranch with Ann Goody, and today we're talking about Cody the Bison. So tell me a little bit about uh, Cody, Ann. Well, he's handsome, yeah. but he is a bison. He is handsome. Could, could I go in there? Is he dangerous? Do you want to be on Fatal Attraction? No. If you don't want to be on Fatal Attraction, you don't go in the pen with Cody. Okay, okay. Cody is not a pet. There's no such thing as a domesticated bison. He's habituated. Remember that word again. That means we can be closer to him than a wild one would normally allow. But he's still a bison. So he's going to react just like a bison. If he's right. startled, if he's upset, if he's scared, he's going to be just like a bison, right. which means he's going to get against our sides and swing his head side to side. Mm -hmm. Remember that head weighs about what I weigh. Um, look what's on it. Right. Oh yeah. Horns. Yeah. He's got some owie parts. Yeah. And he has a best friend. You see his best buddy who's an yeah. ass out there? Yeah. I that's see Jesus, ass. not spelled Jesus, spelled H-A-Y-S-E-U-S-S. -S -S, okay. And that's his best buddy. That's the only reason Cody stays on that side of the fence. Really? If you don't give him enough food, you don't give him a best buddy and a place to cool off, he'll leave. In like wildlife, would this, is this po possible? Are they friends? Is, is no, he'd be with his herd mates. He yeah. would be social with his herd. Their herd is a very tight bond. Mm -hmm. These animals are very, very social. At night, he'll call out and he'll make three low calls in a row and then I'll answer him. When you answer, he'll make a different tone, just a and then he stops. Because right. like cetaceans, you know, whales and dolphins, like elephants who low call to each other because at night they've dispersed out and they want to know where their buddies are. Do you cut his hair at all? No. no. This is his coat for fall. It's the winter coat is just growing in. In between this coarse coat is the softest long hair you can imagine. About this long and it feels like chinchilla wool and it's super warm. When he goes to shed in the springtime, when he's eating in his stockade, you can reach through and touch him and it comes out in huge clumps. We wow. take that wool and blend it with our alpaca wool and we send it off to a spinner and she makes the softest yarn you'd believe. The Indians used to gather the wool and blend it and make it into their blankets. Mm -hmm. And those blankets are still sold by Sotheby's and some of the fancy auction houses. And they run about $80,000 $80, for a hand woven buffalo wool that That's was hand gathered. Crazy. So you're, you're feeding him apples right now. Can I feed him one? Sure. Okay. Reach over. Go ahead, reach over the top and okay. hang on to it this time. Reach, reach, reach. Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know he likes papaya, so try okay. this one. All it's right. fairly disgusting. Yes. There you go. There you go. He's like, nah, it's disgusting today. Oh, he doesn't like it? He's just looking for another apple. Well, apparently I'm not the best at feeding buffalo. If you would like to find out more about the Three Ring Ranch and how you can help support these awesome animals, visit the link down below. What's the strangest animal you've ever fed? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out these episodes over here. Subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you hairy mammals next time.